have a lot of programs uh, right. throughout the year and uh, you're active in various uh, types of environmental um, cleaning. Uh, but this campaign is, uh, is special because it targets the school cho children. Can you tell us a little bit about um, Absolutely. So the in, in the Mobile Beach Cleanup Unit, we have a lot of uh, focus and attention on the youngsters or uh, school children uh, that attend the schools. And uh, look, at, look at it this way. It's not only for the school children, but everybody uh, in the society and the community. And it's very hard for us as a Kuwait dive team to take as much as we love to and like to take everybody with us underwater and show them our operations and what we do and its importance to the environment, um, it's very difficult for us to do that. So we came up with this idea of, well, why don't we come and meet with the public and the place where we all can meet together safely is the beach. Mm. Uh, so that's why, um, you know, uh, as you can see in the pictures. Yeah, now there's some pictures. Um, uh, what's this one? Uh, uh, can you tell this, about it? This is, this is part of the Mobile Beach Cleanup Unit, um, and we're, it's happening every Tuesday now. Um, mm -hmm. Schools can, you know, uh, get together with us, and they can sign up uh, to come. Uh, and basically, we start with an educational program at the beginning, um, telling the youth about the environment, about planet Earth, about how it's important uh, to uh, uh, clean uh, after us. So basically, uh, one fact to tell you, um, a can of Coke takes 200 years for it to dissolve. And when I tell the children that, can you imagine by the time you are born until the time you pass away from this earth, that bottle or can of Coke will still be there. Wow. And a lot of their eyes just open up and mm -hmm. you know, can realize um, you know, how important it is uh, for us to clean up. Um, and after we kind of do that demonstration, we actually take them and do live cleaning of mm -hmm. the beach. Um, obviously, the kids are supervised at that point um, and are, are you know, given more uh, information. But also what's interesting and you know, what's kind of fun is we have the children wear goggles and we say, okay, now you're going to be Kuwait dive team divers. Um, and we have a, a fishing net and we have, uh, if you will, toys or artificial uh, creatures on that fishing net. And the aim is to have a game or a competition to yeah. rescue those, um, you know, those creatures. And then, um, luckily, um, this past Tuesday uh, with Kisser, we had uh, a live release of fish into the environment. Mm. The kids had a blast, but also it taught them a lesson that it's important that you know we need to replenish, uh, you know, what we've used or what we've unfortunately uh, have done nowadays, you know, from overfishing. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a very great program. We're bringing a lot of organizations, a lot of people together. Um, and specifically uh, for me, specif uh, you know, as a, as a PADI instructor and a PADI diver, uh, Project AWARE has been a great help and tremendous help mm -hmm. for us and, you know, great supporter for this initiative. Uh, now, uh, this, uh, this is here uh, in, uh, next to Kuwait Towers. Um, is this the first location that you uh, chose? Uh, this is actually uh, one of the earlier locations. This is where we started. Uh, but the nice thing, because it's a mobile uh, beach cleanup unit, yeah. we can go anywhere yeah. where there is beach. Do you have a specific schedule? or? Uh, we do, um, and we usually do that, uh, run that by the schools, um, you know, proximity, what's closer, and also the, the state of the beach. So we try to target those that are in need of more help and more cleanup. And uh, are there any age groups that you um, prefer? We've seen it all. Uh, we've seen it from kindergarten, we've seen it to um, middle school, elementary, uh, even college students. We've seen, you know, uh, passers mm -hmm. who are passing by who just Join got excited yeah. and said, you know what, I want to come and clean and, you know, everybody's welcome. Um, now, um, aside from the children and the, the beach cleanup, uh, you also uh, do underwater cleaning as well, is that right? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, as you can see, uh, hopefully the pictures will, will come up shortly. Um, we have a lot of operations that happen underwater, um, either um, away from what people can see, and it's very hard for them to relate, but uh, one of the biggest projects that we're still, uh, alhamdulillah, still being involved with, and, you know, with a collaboration from the municipality, from the Kuwait Coast Guard, from the even the fire department, the, the water rescue team. Um, we're cleaning uh, Al Shemlan Boatyard, or you know, mm -hmm. in Kuwaiti we say Nigat al Shemlan. Um, and this is in a very um, you know, a prime location. It's, it's, everybody sees it, but unfortunately there's a lot of waste mm -hmm. uh, from the fishermen and, and fishing, fishing boats. Yeah. And we're yeah. calling for, for, you know, for serious actions, uh, for a lot of education uh, towards these um, you know, fishermen and fishing boats 
because what we're seeing, um, unfortunately, is just horrendous. Mm. It's just uncalled, uh, uncalled of. Yeah, there are some areas that uh, are really bad, and uh, not just uh, on the beaches, but also in the desert and, and further inland as well. Um, it's, it's a mentality, I think, that Absolutely. people should be more aware Absolutely. Uh, of the repercussions of, of throwing things outside. Um, now, you mentioned that you uh, cooperated with uh, Kisser, the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research, um, and also you're a member of the Environmental uh, Voluntary Foundation. Um, are, do you have any other uh, associations, organizations that you collaborate with in, in this, uh, for this cause? Absolutely. So there, are, there is a ton and ton of organizations that we collaborate with. Uh, as you said, uh, we are part of the Environmental Voluntary Foundation, mm -hmm. our sister team, Kuwait Oasis. If you've heard of them, mm -hmm. uh, or perhaps yeah, maybe yeah. you should host them uh, at some point. But Kuwait Oasis are trying to build uh, Kuwait's green yes. fence around yeah. Kuwait. Um, it's a you know, great project. Um, and we were, like I said, we're a, our sister team. Um, but we also collaborate with Project Aware, which is an internationally recognized uh, organization that encourages divers and non-divers to protect uh, the marine environment. Uh, we collaborate with the municipality, Kuwait Coast Guard, the fire department, and specifically, uh, or more so, the water rescue team. Uh, we collaborate with a lot of, you know, private companies, a lot of organizations, mm -hmm. uh, you know, even volunteer organizations uh, that come and uh, help and support us. Well. Um this is all uh, very uh, moving that you uh, do this, and I hope uh, the best of luck for you in, you. in all your endeavors. Um, is there anything uh, that you would like to add now before we end? Absolutely. Um, I would say let's all you know, help each other uh, to protect our environment, and I'd like to encourage everybody uh, now. It's the day of Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. So everybody to follow us. Uh, our handle is at Kuwait Dive Team, which is all one word. Um, so you know, hopefully people will follow us, and you know, you'll hear more about us, and you get more education, more uh, knowledge about the marine environment. Well, um, stay active, and we hope that uh, other people out there will follow you and keep up with all your uh, activities and programs. Uh, thank you for coming uh, back to the show, and obviously we, you're welcome here anytime. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, we're